Of course, with the uh, lockdown that happened in 2020, a lot of us changed the way that we do things. And suddenly we had much more online meetings and I completely changed my training model to be online. And I also, part because of boredom and part because I so desperately wanted to help people, I started giving weekly webinars. So of course, with Microsoft Teams, we could then deliver this, which was incredible. And we know that webinars um, features and functionality is coming soon as well. So I'm quite excited for that. But let me show you a couple of tips and tricks that I think can help you to create a lobby screen. Now I have um, shared that before. So if you go to my blog, tracyfunderscaif.com, and you search for the creating a Microsoft Teams live event lobby screen, I did a short video where I showed these crazy gifts that I do when I um, create my lobby screens. So what I want to achieve is that when I have, let's say I deliver training, but even for meetings or for live events, I create a screen. So I join the meeting early or the live event. I started early and um, I normally do it 15 min minutes early. And I then put the screen on the um, presenting so that whoever joins a couple of minutes early actually has something up on the screen already. And um, there's different ways that you can use this for. So of course, you can share information there about your next training event, or you can share information about the next webinar, or where can they find previous webinars, etc. And of course, in this example, I'll show you how I've created some tips and tricks for people that are new to Teams and also added a stopwatch. So before I get to creating of the stopwatch, I'll quickly just uh, page through some of the crazy ones that I've did before for uh, webinars to maybe inspire you. So if we take a look, um, I think this is one of the first ones I created. And those little planets I created in PowerPoint, by the way, I did it uh, by creating a GIF in PowerPoint. So I did a cool little GIF that keeps on running. And um, in the beginning, I just said starting soon. Okay, I definitely evolved since then. In this one, I used that TV test pattern setting and you'll see that there's little GIFs that runs and um, it, this one started telling you how long it's going to take until we actually join the session, okay? Here's another example. Again, I'm giving examples of uh, where people can find tips and tricks and also, um, you know, what webinar I'm delivering, etc. Yeah, that's some um, very busy screen, but lots of reading matter, you know, like cool things that a person um, can use or what I am going to cover in the webinar, for example. Um, here's another one that I did. This was on adoption and change management. And I like using the GIFs because it just tells people that the screen's not just static, that something's actually happening, right? And you can give extra information in it. And then, of course, um, there's the screen that um, I've built now, which I'll actually show you. So let's talk about the timer first, okay? You can download timers. So I was looking for timers, but I couldn't get one that was 15 minutes. So I just decided, or I couldn't like the color, for example. So I decided to create my own timer slide. And what I did, this is just in PowerPoint, each slide I then um, went further with uh, 10 seconds, okay? So you'll see there's 50, 40, 30. This is just text on the screen. And um, I took it all the way down to ending the timer. So there's the end of my timer and I just changed it to go, go. But it's 92 slides if you take it every 10 seconds. So I just copied it and changed the text and then did the next one. So I did them in 10 second intervals. And then what I did is under transitions, I set it. So there's no transition set but I set it to advance the slide automatically after 10 seconds. Because as soon as you save it as a GIF, it's going to use that um, automatic slide transition to, to pace it, if that makes sense, to work out the timing of it. And then all you have to do is just to go and save the um, PowerPoint as a GIF. So it's an option under your saving settings that you can save it as a GIF. So let's take a look at that. If I go File, Save As, and I then change this, you will see that it's got the option for a GIF. So let's quickly find it. Um, it always takes me a moment to spot it between all these others. There we go. So if I then save it as a GIF, it'll use those 10 second intervals that are set up between the slides and it'll then save that GIF and it'll be exactly a 15 minutes timer. So it's a little image, it's a little GIF that I can then place on my slides. So what I then do 
is I've created a what I call a tips and tricks slide for my training okay but you can use something similar for meetings maybe you want to say hey where can I find the next meeting or wh where's the meeting minutes and the recording from the previous one or you can just give meeting etiquette notes in there like please use your raise of hand feature etc you know we're gonna mute everyone all of those type of things I decided to use mine to help people that are new to teams how to share a screen you know how to use the emoticons where is my conversations and I've just put it in there so for anyone that joins early they can then actually just check the little notes and things out and then of course I'll start on time here's that little gift that I've inserted so I've actually put it inside of um, a little stopwatch okay so if I uh, I just want to grab this quickly and I can show you so if I go new slide you'll see that this is actually <laughs> um, I actually there's my little gift that I created with a PowerPoint so I've just created a little stopwatch and I've just inserted it in there um, just so that it's a little image instead of just a little box and then I actually um, put that on my slide so that as soon as I go into presentation mode it actually starts um, to play it if that makes sense okay what you have to be careful of though and you'll see it starts running there already if I touch anything else on my screen right now it's gonna stop counting down so you can't open up your meeting early mute yourself remember that mute yourself take your camera off so if it's a live event or a meeting if you start it early and you display your screen already with us on the screen so anyone that starts joining will see the screen but I'm muted and my camera is off okay be careful you can't carry on working on something else because every time I open another app or start working somewhere else on the same PC it actually stops the timer the GIF stops okay so be careful of that that you don't interrupt your own timer I normally just grab my laptop and go and sit somewhere else and work in that 15 minutes if I wanted to or I use those 15 minutes to just stretch my legs and uh, go grab a cup of coffee so I do hope that this inspired you to do some cool um, what I call lobby screens so you can create a nice little banner if you're a company you can put like company cool things on there you know where people can find information etc maybe introduce the speaker or if it's a trainer or what is the purpose of this meeting maybe it's an agenda so it's just an image that I'm going to display I'm going to go into presentation mode and then as soon as you're into presentation mode your little timer will start running so just to recap I physically created 92 slides okay because I wanted 15 minutes and I decided to do it at 10 second intervals okay so it, um, it flips every 10 seconds and um, and then I put an interval on so on transitions I went and said advance the slide after 10 seconds and then I just went and said file save as GIF and ta-da I've got a 15 minute timer that I can use anywhere okay and it's very easy to just go on this one and change the background color if you want the timer to look different there's definitely some timers that you can download but I wasn't quite happy with the ones that I found so I just ended up creating my own in PowerPoint as one does so I do hope that that's inspired you use that time for people to join early join the meeting early or join the live event early start it early and then put up a nice information slide with a little countdown timer which I think is going to really inspire people keep them busy let them know something's happening and they can also learn something from it so even if you for example if I train SharePoint I can have a slide that's more about tips and tricks for SharePoint you know where can I found resources maybe share like they can go to the lookbook or something like that so it's a really really cool feature that you can use and I hope that you're super inspired so remember I did um, do another blog as well that you can have a look at about the webinar lobby and this one now includes the countdown timer well, um, enjoy, have a nice day, and we'll catch up soon.